near each other as a reminder of all that pain. I want to know what it feels like letting it go. But I'm scared it's going to crush me. Come with me. Hi, Mary Bell. Hi, Sophie. Hello. Sophie, I got to say this first because it was it was a surprise to me. I mean, I'm born August 12th. You're August 11th. I just feel this Leo love. <laughs> I've always felt it's on the screen, but now Man. I just I know that it has a, also another level to it. And Viola as well. I think she's the 11th as well. Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got to ask, though, because, I mean, the landscape has changed. Uh, this, this is a question for Sophie. Um, uh, so much since your breakout role in Hotel Rwanda. I mean, with all the streamers, there's so much good stuff on streaming platforms. There's stuff in theaters. I, I want to know, like, how do you disseminate which roles to choose? Like, how, I mean, that's so much part of a, being a good actor. Like, how do you choose which roles to, to take? I just have, like, it's, like, so... As I get older, it also changes. It's like, I don't have, uh, I do things I think are gonna bring some joy, that I'm gonna have a kind of happy time as well. I don't feel like I wanna put myself into kind of a stressful or, um, you know, there's a lot, it's time. But it, first of all, it's the script. If it's an amazing script, like in a character, I will bend over backwards to go anywhere. But you don't always get amazing scripts and amazing parts. You don't always. And you're still, and I'm a jobbing actor. I work and I go to work. And so it's not every job has to be amazing. And then if that's not the thing, then I think about who am I working with? Um, who would I like to work with? How long does it take? How far away from home is it? There are all the, the other things, ingredients. But I usually try and find one or two. You're never going to get the perfect package. But you try and find one or two ingredients in each job to decide but I don't think about is this going to do this xyz for my career I'm too old for that now I don't I don't care anymore like I just do things that bring me joy that I enjoy and work with people that I enjoy you know you can never tell what's going to do what for, for you can't predict your future yeah. with stuff like that and it's boring too anyway so Do I know you? I don't think so. Are you sure? Yeah. So why do you look at me like that when I walk by? Like what? You think I enjoy it? No, I... I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to understand where you're coming from. Wait, you, um... You reminded me of someone? Oh. You think I should be flattered? Is that it? <laughs> <laughs> and, and Maribel, how was it when you read the script? I mean, because I, I, I'm, I'm already feeling like this script will definitely be among the great actors and the performances. The script is definitely going to be in in the FYC for all the award shows for best original screenplay. Like, how did it feel reading this story and seeing all the twists and turns that us as the audience got to to see on you know on the screen? <laughs> okay, I think Rodrigo Garcia is one of the best writers in the world and uh, the best uh, directors of actors in the world and um, when Rodrigo Garcia called me I I couldn't believe my eyes so I, I almost died directly no in middle of the bridge in Miami I was walking and and, blah, blah. <laughs> and uh, well uh, the, the the first thought when I read the script was wow what is that because it's an, a perfect balance between drama, tragic, but comedy. Uh, the situations are so funny and so surrealistic. It's like uh, uh, Ionesco. It's, no, it's like uh, I, I love the, the humor, the absurd humor, like Ionesco, for example. No, and I think it's, yeah. it's similar. On it, and uh, well, I felt so extremely happy to to involve in, in, in this movie with, with, with Sophie, with Ethan, with Yiwan, and the first opportunity to work with, with, with Rodrigo. So excited and, and happy. Oh, mm. thank you.
Looks good. Mm-hmm. Mm, it's delicious. I know. How long have you worked here? It's my house. Oh. I love the way you've, you've set it up. It's very free-spirited and, and, and yet still sensible. <laughs> Thank you. Was Harris your tenant? No. My ex-husband and I had a car wash. Harris came to the store for cigarettes. He was older, but he was friendly and a good listener. We were lovers for a while, then we stayed friends. And when he got sick last year, I moved him in. Uh, I love the performances. I love the the, the, the spice and ingredients that you guys added to these stories of these brothers and, and, and Barry and the father, it was definitely, um, it was comedy in a, in a weird way. Like y'all play straight comedy in it, but it was like funny to see those situations. Can't wait to see whatever y'all got coming out. I've always been a fan of uh, of you, Sophie, and it's it great to like meet you on the screen, Maribel. So keep doing your thing. I'll keep on watching and cheering you guys on. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Take care.